everybody, it's Dark Matter here with another exciting video. <laughs> welcome everybody, welcome to to uh, the video here we're going to have today. And I appreciate everybody coming to watch. And if, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button there for more silly content of mine. You know, we, uh, today we're going to be doing an unboxing video of... Redneck Renegade sent me a box, okay? And I think I know what's in it. Uh, he mentioned sending me some tools. In which case, thank you very much, Red. I can use all the tools I can get, brother. I don't have many tools to work with. Like, I just got started doing wood turning just this year. Uh, in fact, you know, I just really started getting into it. So, my tools are minimal at the best um so let's get this open and see what's in it enough of my jibber jabber okay okay like a slasher movie, huh? Oh, there we go. I knew there was a theme there somewhere. All right, so let's get this open. Bum, bum, bum. All right, bubble wrap. I love bubble wrap. He's a pretty bubble wrap. It's awesome, Red. Thank you. Ooh, more bubble wrap. Ooh, we got a sticker. Look at that sticker, guys. Look at that sticker. Ain't that cool? That is awesome. Love the sticker, Red. That's very cool. Very cool. Let's stick that. Let's stick it up underneath this bubble wrap so it doesn't blow away. Uh, put this more on top of it. More bubble wrap. Oh. Oh, a pretty box inside there. Get this bubble wrap out. Oh, pretty box. Oh my goodness. Look at that, guys. Ain't that pretty? That's a pretty, pretty wooden box. Okay. Let me, uh, Get it open here, and and we'll see what's in it. All right. Oh, red! You didn't have to do that, brother. Wow. Check this out, guys. Yeah, I'll just get one of these up. Check, check. This looks like a, a roughing gouge. Yeah, it could be a spindle gouge. I'm not sure, but. We'll find out. Look at that. Look how thick that is. Holy Moses. That is, that's a, that's a beast. Benjamin's best, huh? Well, these are super cool, Red. Thank you so much, man. These are, these, these are, are a lot thicker than my other set and that's just a my other set of gouges and whatnot are just a cheap harbor harbor freight set Ooh, look at oh look at that a bull gouge oh a bull gouge look at that I didn't have a bull gouge check that out ain't that cool these are very nice red 
Very nice. Look at this. Look. Wow, look at that. Some kind of fancy, some kind of fancy butter knife. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. It's a skew. Check it out, man. Red, you're too good to me, brother. Ooh, that's razor sharp, too. I wonder if it... Nope, can't cut hair with it. But I bet it'll cut some wood. Speaking of that, I'm going to show you these real quick. Now, there's another skew that's smaller than this one right here. See? Another skew. I'm going to show you the rest of these real quick. And then I think that we should probably try to make... Oh, look at that. Boy, that's one thick cutoff tool there, boy. Uh, I can guarantee you one thing, Red. These will get used a lot. Look at that. Look at that detail tool. That is a detailed tool, guys. It's for making purdy purdies. You use it like a scraper and you go in and make it, you can scrape around things. You go in straight with it and make little, little grooves and stuff with it. Yeah. And then you have a scraper. This is a round, round nose scraper here. You know, 5 eighths round nose scraper. That's awesome. Red, you're the man, brother. I didn't expect this, man. When you said you were sending tools, I didn't expect new ones, brother. You didn't have to send me new new tools, man. Uh, I'm very excited and very happy you did. I mean, don't get me wrong. Ecstatic. Just ecstatic, man. Over the top. I just don't want you feeling like you needed to. Uh, this was beautiful, brother. Beautiful. You're awesome, man. All right, so Red sent me this beautiful, beautiful box of tools. What do you say we make something? All right, well, mail calls are fun, but how about we make something with them? Let's go. Let's go break them in. All right. All right. See you in the woodshed. All right. What we have here is failure to communicate. No, I'm just kidding. What we have here is a piece of a crab apple from Redneck Renegade himself. All right, I thought it was fitting seeing how he sent me them great tools that we would use a piece of crab apple from him. Let me bring you up just a little bit. There we go. All right, now you can see this part. You can see all the wood. That's that's the important thing there. You can see all the wood. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to make a tenon real quick on this side of the wood here, and I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use my carbide cutter for that because it's just good for that. And and then uh, we're going to check real quick, make sure it's Clears the toolbar, and we'll, we're going to cut a tenon right in this side right here, okay? And then I'm going to put it in the chuck, get rid of the spur drive, because, you know, spur drives are great and everything, but I'd rather be in a chuck where everything's a little more stable, a little safer. All right, let's get to it. You can see that's pretty much all I did was I made a tenon that come in. Man, see if I can't clean it up a little bit. Alright, good enough. Good enough. We're gonna flip this around and put it in the Put 
put it in the tuck, all right? I'll bring you back. All right, as you can see, let's get this all the light on. Let's see how much that's gonna affect stuff here. As you can see, there's a big knot right there. All right, so we gotta rough this out real good. I got it in the chalk. It's all ready to go. Let's start by roughing out this and taking off that big knot. All right, I'll make sure that it I think, clears. All right, let's get a roughing tool. Okay, before we do, I want you to see this. Check this out. I took Fred's sticker and stuck it right, right up on that box. Oops. You guys flip over? Sorry. Yeah. Stuck, stuck red, right, right on that box. Look at that. Ain't that cool? Here. I'm having trouble with my setup here, but yeah, I put them right on the red sticker, right on the box. All right, let's get a roughing tool out and we'll uh, get started on this. All right, this should be fun. All right, let me get you back so you can see here. Actually, let me put you back up. Let's here. There we go. There we go. Now I got you right above it. Right above. So you can see here. Pull you out just a little bit there. There we go. And now you can see everything. All right, so let's get started. Got the roughing tool. Boy, that's a bad mama jamma. All right, it's a seven eighths. Looks like a roughing tool. It could be a big spindle gun. It's gonna rough out some stuff, let me tell you. say that's pretty good and roughed out all the rough stuffs took off for the most part we'll get to that don't worry all right let's see what else we got to play with um, let's, uh, let's try this uh window gouge see what it has to offer huh huh all right. pretty nice I like that I like that a lot all right let's try something else
Ooh, we're up to the bulldog. All right. Never used one of these before. Let's find out how it works. I think I'm in love. This thing is nice. I like it a lot. Love the bowel gouge. Love it. Let's try something else. Oh, my favorite. And <laughs> when in doubt, whip it out. Well, as, you know, predicted, the, the ski works great. I did want to catch a lot up here, but I think that's just because of how rough it was still. All right, let me uh, change tools and we'll try another one. I'm going to skip the little skew because, well, skew's a skew, right? We just seen the skew in action. And we know the oil skew will, well, we'll give it a shot. Little skew. 5 8 skew. All right. 5 8 skew works great. I didn't have any doubts that it would. I knew it would. I love skews. They're great tools. A skew, can, a skew can do almost every job as your other tools. I don't know about bull gouge. I, I don't know if I want to go that far, but maybe. I I still don't know. I ain't tried that. I'm, you know, I'm kind of leery about trying some stuff like that. Up tool. Okay. All right, well, we're going to try this here, this round nose scraper. And we're going to clean up, we're going to clean up this area here, the round nose scraper, because that's what we have next. I bumped you. Oh, well, looks like a looks like the round nose scraper did a great job of cleaning that up. I don't know what's up with that, but let's get it. All right, round nose scraper works great. I bumped you again, didn't I? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to take that off there. I don't like that. All right. Uh, it's still a little bit there. We'll leave it, it'll be all right. Cause it's probably gonna sand off when uh, I suppose to sand it anyway. All right, let's uh, let's move on to the next tool, which I believe we're going to use cut off tool. All right, cut off tool, and we're just going to clean up this edge. You can see, as you can see, that edge. There, let me bring you down a little bit here. That edge is a little, 
squiggly woggly. Can you see it? I see it. I don't, I don't know if you can or not. Enough for what we're going to do there. All right. All right. So there's that. Got that straightened out fairly good. Let's uh, go to the next tool, which is the last one in the box. That is a detail tool for making party parties. All right. Let's get to it. see what that did all right made some nice detail in there I don't know how well you're seeing it Let's see uh, there we go Let's get this visor up so I can see oh uh, yeah not bad it did really well and I tell you what, these things are not dull at all. All right, so we ran through the tools. And uh, I'm just going to leave this one out because I'm going to use that again. I'm going to pull out the tools that I need now. And uh, we are going to see what we can make. These are the tools I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using a uh, uh, cutoff tool, the uh, three quarter inch spindle gouge, round nose scraper. This thing works great. I like it. And the bowl gouge. All right, let's get to it. Get the light back on. That's pretty. All right, let me move down here a little bit.
bed. Starting to take shape for sure. All right. Don't worry, we'll clean this up. We're not worried about the bottom right yet. All right, let's uh, let's get some burn marks in it here, up here, and maybe in the right here, maybe right here, right here, and right here. Um, I mean, let's go a little deeper on that. professionals here. Clear out some of the sawdust. Well, let's get some burn marks in there. This should be fun. Huh? pretty good all right so I think, I think I'm happy with the shape of everything right now until we get down here anyway I'll do some more work down here of course we're gonna have to do some sanding and stuff I may have to I may have to burn the marks on some of them and again down in here anyway well, maybe not We'll see what happens. Let's get the let's get the center hollowed out. I gotta move you, so I'll bring you back in a second. All right, here we go. Let me get this uh, drill out of here and and uh, get my toolbar set up and stuff, and I'll bring you back. All right. Let's see if I can get in a position where you can see better. There we go. All right. 
Let's see what we, the kind of damage we can do with this. See if we can break it, huh? This bowl gouge I'm sure works great for bowls, but this this particular piece here is out so far and I don't have a steady rest. If I had a steady rest it wouldn't matter because then it would be all secured. But it gets going to a certain speed and, and I hit it just right and that thing will vibrate all over heck. I'm sure you've seen it vibrate and it's because I don't have a steady rest. Nothing out here to support it. So it's 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 out really really far you know and it it's just got too much vibration for this bull gouge so what i'm going to try to do is get in there with the round nose scraper and scrape it out a little bit that might help let me let me get this just a little bit <clears throat> there we go all right and here we go. Yeah, it ain't gonna work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get my carbide. Carbide will take care of it, I'm sure. I hated to do this because, well, I really wanted to use all them fancy tools that Red sent me, but. I need to think about being safe at the same time, so not that I'm worried. I don't think that bull gouge would, I think it'll take anything that thing has to throw at it. But uh, I'm going to try to keep this so it doesn't break. like we got her done I hated using the carbide on this because I really like I said I really really wanted to to do it all with them tools but that bull gouge would have done it it just would have took a lot longer uh, than the carbide for sure Let's put this off and see what we got going on in there oh yeah not bad good some sanding done on it I mean, them walls are awful thick still. I could still take some more off them, I think. But, uh, I don't think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna leave it just like that. And, um, do some sanding on it. And then we'll finish up the bottom. Uh, sand up the top, finish up the bottom. And, uh, sand that up. And we'll call this thing done. Bring it back. I gotta move stuff. Well, actually, I'm just gonna sand it up, and I'll bring it back when it's sanded. Okay? We got her sanded up to 1500, and uh, looks all right. Looks all right. We're gonna do something here with this this stem here. We're gonna. Do something with the stem. We're going to do something with the base. We're going to do something with the base. We're going to do something just a little bit with the stem. Make it a little thinner, I think. Right in here. And uh, then we're going to cut it off. And, well, we're going to put um, egg sanding paste on it before we cut it off. And make it all pretty. So, let's get to that.
All right, let's get it sanded up down here real quick. I'll bring you back and then we'll uh, put some wax on it and cut it off and call it good. All right, got it sanded up to 1500. I like going up to 1500. Probably don't have to, but I'd like to. All right, and uh, we're gonna put some of this axe abrasive sanding paste on there and uh, sand it up with that. And then we're gonna put some of the finishing paste on it and uh, See how pretty it gets. Look at the difference. Look at the difference already. Just by rubbing it on, look at the difference. Look this stuff is good stuff. All right, well, I think I got enough on there. Let's uh, get it uh, rubbed in a little bit so it don't fly off at me when I turn the wave on. that pretty that's just beautiful all right well let's get some uh let's get some uh here let's run a clean rag over it first make sure we got all the sandy paste off from it That's beautiful. All right. Oops, I forgot to do the inside. Get some off. Uh, let's get some max finishing paste on there. Boy, that looks good, don't it? It's about to look better. Some of this, some of this X. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> X restoring paste on there. Stuff's good stuff. It really is. Tom sure knows what he's doing with his wood paste. That's for sure. That might be a little bit too much. All right. So let's get this on there. Oh. 
put just a little bit of pressure on there. All right. the inside all right looks good don't it that's right it does boy that's pretty that's just pretty that is just pretty All right, let's put a, a coat of OB Shine Juice on it. I'm just gonna do the outside with the OB Shine Juice, so. I know OB shine juice is food safe but I am just gonna do the outside with it it's got the uh, axe wood paste on the inside that'll protect the wood on the inside it's food safe I know the axe uh, sanding pastes are food safe for a fact there won't be no more no arguments over whether it is or not um, I don't know if anybody will ever use this or not, but if they do, um, I want to make sure that it's safe. Uh, put my shield on so this stuff don't fly in my face. Is pretty, ain't it? Huh. Yeah, if I would have known, I could have done a goblet. I've been wanting to do one of these. I've been wanting to do one of these. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. I'm probably going to let this OB Shine Juice dry for a little bit. It's, it seems like it's already dry. Hmm. Maybe we'll just put another coat on there right now. All right, well, let me see what it looks like. Uh, don't look bad. Don't look bad at all. All right. I'm going to cut it off. Right there. Nope. I'm going to cut it off. Wow. That didn't help, did it? I'm going to cut it off right there. And uh, we'll probably call this done. Bad, huh? Hi right, guys, this is my first goblet, so, you know, uh, show me mercy in the comments, will ya? I don't know, maybe it could have been done better, maybe I did something wrong, I don't know about, I'm, I'm pretty new to turning, but, uh, yeah, this is my first goblet, 
did it with the great tools that Redneck Renegade sent me, my good buddy Red. And uh, thank you so much, Red, for them. They're, they're awesome, dude. They work really good. Uh, yeah, be sure to check out Redneck Renegade. His, his uh, link will be in the description below. Oh, I wanted to show you this. Check this out. Well, I'm here for you wood turners. This, uh, this, this rubber stopper I got in here, it's rubber. It, it fits right over the original, the original, uh, life center. And all it is is a kid's toy. You can get them at the dollar store here. Well, I don't know what, maybe. Uh, my wife brought them home from the school where she works and it's a toy and, and, uh, you set it like that. And pop. <laughs> and that's all it is. But great thing about it is, is that it fits right over the top. Right over the top of your life center like that. And it makes a great soft touch. So if you can find one of these get it because it's great it's a great great soft touch for your live center all right guys let's cut this off and uh we'll call this good all right let me bring you back down here where you can see Let me get it sawed off there because I don't want to, I don't want it to break off. See, there's a little nub there. I'm gonna take that off. A little bit of sanding paper. I'll bring you back. All right, there we go. Bottom's not as pretty as the rest of it, but it is pretty. Let me just sit up. I'll get some I'll get some pictures up at the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I always, always, always am grateful for your support. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. For more content like this, I'm your buddy. I'm your friend. 
I'm Dark Matter, and I'm out. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to share this video to all your media sources i'm your buddy i'm your friend i'm dark matter and i'm out you don't know the power of the dark side the power of the dark side